but he's going to jam all rivers here. Oh, did he actually have a king, like king nine? Queen ten, all right, he had a ten. So we did it as best we could. Uh, it's funny that he checked when he made two pair on the river, but that just shows you how, because like in that scenario, he's supposed to just jam all the money in. Absolutely. I don't love this because he's super short. So, I don't really want to 3 bet it because we'd be racing a ton. And I don't think that's the best move. But we're not going to fold it just because if we get an ace, we can get it in and it's fine. And But 3 betting, like if he has, let's say he has king queen here and the flop comes off with an ace on it, 3 betting would absolutely keep him from going broke. But if we just call and the ace hits and he has that king queen, he's going to have his only resources to going to be to bluff. So, we'll see though. Taking a while to get back. It's not a bad flop. I'm going to lead it. There's a ton of draws. Both these players are short. If they want to get the money in, we can. Queen of hearts on the turn dealer. Or the ten of diamonds. That's a nice card. Sick play, bro. Good backdoor flush, but a full house beats that, so you shouldn't have been opening it in the first place. I may have just gotten sucked out on. I don't know the table with Jax. I was kind of playing it so this guy would bluff, but uh, yeah, he sucked out on me. Hit a queen on the turn, then bet super small. Yeah, I, I kind of played it a little weird. But I'm trying to get him to bluff. It's a player who plays. My notes on him are 100% VPIP. He literally plays every hand, but that one he raised. So I was giving him a little bit of credit. And he just so happened to suck out the queen. Interesting. I don't think we want to fold yet. There's a lot of bad cards in the river, but I probably should have bluffed this one. But yeah, we're good here. It's just kind of easy. Uh, check. Man, my dude takes forever. That's more believable. Ah, shit. May have lost connection. Nope. There it goes. OBS is having a problem. Oh, there it goes. Lost you a little bit there. That was weird. The whole thing blipped out. Maybe it was disconnected for a couple minutes. I only got disconnected for a second. I don't know if we have to bet here. Yeah, when he bets, I can kind of give it up. It's fine.
up about three and a half buy-ins. A lot of people got knocked off. I think it's local internet that's a problem. just dropped we are gonna three bet pretty good size too the cold jam I don't love this player is more fish trappy but it'll be a race often enough oh we chop it chop it on the straight Pretty good flop. Ba, ba, ba. Check. Hey. Yeah, this table died. That sucks. Wasn't the grace table anyway. So we can try to get on another table. Fold. Check. table da, 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 da. Ooh, lots of tens blind versus blind as well as ones where if it gets past this we can get a lot of money because we just check back make the full house that's pretty awesome because he can definitely have a 10, but it's very hard for him to have ace-10. He's over-betting, though. So do we want to raise? I think we do. It's kind of brutal if he jams, but I don't think I'm ever supposed to not raise there. That's a great value bet. A lot of players don't make that value raise because he's going to have an ace. Yep, he's sometimes even going to have a 10. I can't believe he fucking called it. I mean, he, he over-bet that pot. He overbet it and then I raised him. I mean, and I must be betting something on the flop, right? That's really, uh, whew. Get three bet. We're just going to jam against the shorty. Old. Yikes. Well, at least he can't straight out. Yep, we chop it. <laughs> Ace king on two tables. I had it once, the other guy had it once. Versus queens. I had it once, the other guy had it once. And both of them ran out of straight on board for chops. <laughs> check, check, check. I don't mind that. God, I mind the nine, though. And I mind the club. Oh, chop it up. A lot of choppy choppy.
don't love it, but the price is right. Oh, baby. I'm going to lead. Aces, ace, queen, king, queen. Uh, they'll all get the money in. Because a lot of players don't see this as two pair. It just seems too strong to lead. I'm going big. Well, if he's got king, queen, that sucks. Deuce tray. Wow. Wow. <sighs> he fucking drew for full pot bets the whole way for 70% of his stack and then fucking hit the minimum flush. <sighs> what a joke. 60% of his chips. Yeah, that's but that's why we're playing against him. I mean, if we'd gone for the check raise, it would have just gone in. So, same result. Um, yeah, I don't mind this. That raise is a little peculiar. Nice. Five would be great dealer. So this player is raising or leading right at it after getting three bet. Other than him having tens, I don't really see how this is ever a good idea. That five is amazing. So now we want him to have tens. This player should have an ace. I don't know if anybody's folding an ace queen here. If you have pocket tens here, this is really hard to fold because nobody's supposed to have ace ten when you have pocket tens. And people just don't see ace five here. Did he just jam? Great play, bro. That is not a bluff spot. <laughs> wow. I just can't believe that he would have a fucking ace here. Yeah. Because the other guy's supposed to have an ace because he three bet, but he can have queens there just as easily and play the hand exactly the same way. Kind of like this one. Let me just check down. Uh, I don't. I misclicked that. I didn't mean to call there. I mean, this player's too short. What do you got? Uh, he hit the four on the turn after calling the flop bet. He sucked out on me. Fold, 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 back up three buy-ins. Fold, I'm gonna get off this table. 20 hands, pure double. Five was amazing. That's the thing though, you have to have a full house there to play it that way. Pick up a gut shot. I'm gonna go ahead and bet. I'm going to get off this one. Double and ditch. Plus the fish left. Latura, can we get on this one? Uh, Run Worse really loves to 3 bet. I'm gonna try four betting. Oh, I gotta! I can't get on this one. This four bet's kind of small. It might not work. We do have good blockers though. Taking this long though, I think he's really got a decision. He might have something like ace jack suited or ace queen. So, I don't think he ever has ace king here. If he does, he'll just jam. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to have to back him off more widely.
Okay. Only because it's a pot bat, he doesn't have to have anything, and in the blind I'm supposed to have more. I mean, if he shows me that he's really protecting something, I'll let it go, but that bet doesn't do it. He can definitely have a nine. He flopped the straight. 5-4, the ass end. That's pretty, that's pretty silly. Did he raise that one preflop? No, he limped it. Let it go, just because sometimes the king hurts me. The board pair on the turn isn't great. Three about the tens. I'm just gonna check this one down. Yeah. Looks he's got the random pair. All right, I think we call here. It's close. Check that one. Nine. Tens okay. He can definitely have ace queen, so we can't really raise. Ace nine. Wow. Raise calls three bet in first. So this was a three bet. I'm not going to give it up just yet. Both called. Yeah, player just got to the table. Could be good here. Nice. That's a nice one. What does everybody have? Ace, queen, seven, five. Just never really seemed like I was beat. And that's why we're here is to play against this guy. And there's one table just off screen that I just keep getting sucked out on.
this table I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere, but they're backing off of me so hard. Straight. King was good here. What'd you have? 10 7. You're hilarious, sir. Did he limp it or did he post? I think he posted, right? Nope. He limped it and then he tried to bluff it for no reason. For zero purpose. At 1331, so what is that? Three and a half buy ins again? Not bad after that last uh, suck out. Go ahead and raise. The, uh, the suck out with uh, the flush versus my top pair. is defending. I mean, this is just hilarious. Alright. That's what we want. I'm going to go ahead and 3-bet. Uh, I am going to bet the turn. This is kind of odd. The player's only been there for 2 minutes. The other one's been there for 7 minutes. I think we call because I know if we flop a set, we do get it all from one of them. Concentrating them, getting uh, getting timed out. Yeah, I just can't get anywhere on this fucking table. That's hilarious. This player's done this a bunch. It's three bet to tens. Put nothing past this guy having a suited four. You got it, bro. Check, 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 check. Uh, definitely think we can keep better. Sometimes he's going to have King Jack. I'm just going to check the river. King Jack, King Ten. All beat us. Just a diamond draw, I guess. King three. Interesting. This player posted in second. I'm gonna raise. Ron Horse likes to three bet a lot, especially from the blinds. He may go for it. Jack's okay. This guy limp jammed in first. Uh, he's been here too long. I guess we just check. I mean, now everything's there. All the two pair combos that are going to raise, all the tens. Uh, can even have like a queen. Uh, that's fine. King, queen. King, queen. King definitely there. How goes the session? Pretty good, my man. We're up uh, uh, 37, so almost four buy-ins in about two hours, so not bad.
This guy just loves three betting. He's just so compulsive. Like it's almost a razor fold mentality. I take that, not playing today, minus 50 yesterday at 10 and L and 21 in attorney. It's the way it goes sometimes, my man. Trust me. Yeah, some days are like that, man. You know, all the skill in the world is not going to keep you from getting cracked. Uh, no, check. But we are going again tomorrow and all weekend, hopefully lots of volume. Nice. That's the thing, man. Weekends are prime, you know, especially at that level. You know, playing the 20 and 10 and 20 and even $50 level weekends, it's just that's when the tourists come to town, you know. That's a marker all around the world because recreational players typically have their weekends off. You know, they work square jobs. I remember when I worked at Radio Shack in Florida and was make, starting to make a sizable, not sizable, but it was worth it for me to play. Like it was paying a few bills. Um, I started uh, a new job at Radio Shack at the time. And I told them, you know, the only problem is I can't work Sundays. And the guy was like, are you religious? And I'm like, would it matter? And he was like, no, he's like, you know, you're requesting that day off consistently. He's like, I can grant it because I was on the assistant manager path. And I said, okay, no, I'm not religious. I just don't work Sundays. It's a family day. And he was, you know, he took it. He was all right with it. But I really did have to stand up for myself quite a few times. One time I remember I was on the phone with him and it was Saturday and I was playing and I was off. And uh, the next day he was, he was like, I need you to come in. I said, dude, I can't do it, man. It's Sundays, that's the deal. For me to work there, that's that's the fucking deal. And I told him that my fiance uh, would kill me, you know, at the time. And he was like, well, you know, you got to make sacrifices for this, that, and the other. And, you know, as a manager, I said, but I'm not a manager. You're not even paying me the assistant manager wage. You just got me on the track. I'm still a salesman. So when I'm a manager, we'll, we'll revisit this conversation. But that's all there is to it. And, uh... He was like, well, I don't know how I feel about you progressing. And I was like, okay, then I quit. And it was like, you know, because it was that thing. And he was just like, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. It's not what I'm saying. And uh, he, he was he was perfectly fine with it. And I was like, dude, I'm, you know, I do everything. You know, it's not like you're going to lose out on this deal. It's just one day a week. I cannot do. And he uh, eventually he came around. But I was on the phone with him while I was on a final table that was that I would end up winning. I know I got second in that one, but it was worth a thousand bucks as I'm talking to him on the phone. I literally had a week's pay in front of me, more than a week, like a week and a half's pay in front of me uh, while I was playing. I think we were down to like four players, and I was like, dude, I'm about to end this conversation real quick. I'm busy. And uh, he wasn't even a bitch, too, and he wasn't even a bad guy. He was just way overcommitted. This is, this is hilarious. He has a lot less aces than I do. The fuck is that? Seven's kind of awesome. Three is kind of awesome. Okay. Yeah, you never have a six. Look at him suck out the fucking five on the river. Like a fucking idiot. Like I'm never going to have eight six or eight seven or all five. That fucking wins. He fucking sucks out on the river for monster. 
Oh, that pisses me off. That cost me two volumes. <sighs> Fucking idiot. Just such a donkey. I was waiting on that spot with him just the whole time. It's just it's just so obvious that he has an overpair. So like a six, a seven, an eight. All those cards are amazing for me. And he fucking gets super lucky. Going into the river with two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight outs. Fucking eighty four percent. Overbet jams it on the turn. The only thing that calls you for three X pot on the turn has you beat. Like any draw hand that I have got there. Five, four, eight, seven. I'm gonna call you with two pair. Fucking idiot. That's annoying. I'm still up two buy-ins, but I should be up six. He just never has a six there. I'm gonna just call. He doesn't bet that river without the four. Well, guy just made a straight flush versus the nut flush.
Ugh, I gotta wait on this table. This is okay to call because I think there are bluffing opportunities plus the queen. This player calling though kind of sucks. This should always be a check on the turn. If it's not, he's going to overplay. I'm going to stick with this for a minute. I'm kind of feeling a little tired. I may have to... Uh, I have to take a break. I'm going to give it a couple minutes. Fold this one, fold that one, fold that one. Foldy, foldy. These are all the tables where I couldn't really get good action. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. That's all that's left is all the tables that were dead action for me. And not like they're bad tables or there's good players like raising or being aggressive, but I think uh, I think I need to reset on this because these tables are just too tight like I've been on this table 135 this one 137 high ends this one 203 this one 135 158 this one only 41 but I just got here but yeah it's been on these tables so long I'm just I'm just not getting proper action because the players are just so nitty and dumb like this guy They're just, I mean, I'm able to, like, make money, but it's just not, I'm not getting the big ones. Oh, give me a 7 versus this dope. A7-4. Well, that's a 7. I'm going to raise. I mean, he's donking, so he should have something. He might go ape shit with an overpair. Oh, there it is. Just gave it right back, eh, buddy? 
Thank you. He gave me back every fucking nickel. Sucker ass motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna kill it. He gave me back everything that I lost to him just in one foul swoop with a pair of eights. Like, that is just fucking pathetic. <laughs> He's just jamming on me. That's what I was saying about uh, raising, you know, for your, uh, you know, raising with the monsters or just betting right at them. Like, fast plays the new slow play. Like, and then you end up with guys like this. It's like he's just a total donkey. He just he, we saw that he can't fold jacks. I actually think I won more of them on that one with the two pair that I lost with the two pair. Yeah, it was like an extra four bucks. But don't ever talk somebody out of it. If I just call, he doesn't freak out like that. Plus, there's a ton of action killers when he just has eights or nines, which I called it over pair. I thought maybe he might have jacks. Maybe. But it definitely wasn't anything super strong or a strong draw. So. That puts us up a nice chunk. But yeah, I think I'm going to... Uh, look at this. Nobody bets a jack here. Which is why we bet. Especially the ace jack. Although somebody has to have a king or something. All right. Let's kill it. Kill it. Kill it. I'll tell you guys where I ended up. Uh, yep. So let's do the math. 1245.30 is where I'm at. And my, we started at. One, two, oh no, that's one, three, excuse me. One, three, four, five, point three, minus one, two, nine, five, point eight, six. Five buy ins. Pretty good. That's usually right about where I like to range. Would have been up more if it wasn't for that first beat, but we got it all back. So, two and a half hours, about a buy in every half hour. That's about what I'm averaging at the 10 and L and 20 and L mix. So, can't really be upset about that feel good I'm just tired and I think I need a uh, I can feel myself losing focus and one of the things I've noticed is if I am tired I, I tend to play too many hands so I'm just gonna go ahead and kill it and uh, I'll probably be back if I'm not back later tonight then it'll be tomorrow I'll be playing a lot during the day tomorrow um, yeah I'll see if I can find somebody to host if not I'll see you guys uh, later or tomorrow